Why is Sri Lanka opting to an emergency purchase of medicines? Due to the foreign exchange crisis, the government is facing an issue in importing medicines to the country by following the proper procurement process and to avoid any shortage. As a solution to the crisis, Health Minister Kehli Ramukvalla on the 25th of October produced a cabinet memorandum to the cabinet of ministers for the emergency purchasing of medicines. It noted that Savarit Pharmaceutical Private Limited located in Gujarat, India had agreed to provide a three-month supply of medicines to Sri Lanka within 45 days. Accordingly, plans were drawn to import medical supplies approved by the State Pharmaceuticals Corporation using the remaining funds for the Indian line of credit and other funds available to the country. The cabinet memorandum had sought permission to allow Savorit Pharmaceutical Private Limited and other selected suppliers to deliver medicine to Sri Lanka. As this is an unsolicited bid and as it was done without calling for tenders, the finance ministry had said the approvals are necessary from two other companies. President Ranil Vikramasinghe, as the finance minister, had signed observations made by the finance ministry. It appears that the finance ministry officials have suspected of an attempt to commit fraud and tried to prevent it. They have said that if Saberit Pharmaceutical Private Limited is to be allowed to supply medicines, the approval from another two companies in the meantime, the health minister had produced another cabinet memorandum to procure medicines from Kaushik Pharmaceuticals, another company based in India. Cabinet has been misled to award permission to import 28 medicines that are not approved by the NMRA. Twelve of these medicines are already being produced in Sri Lanka. Three of them are produced by the State Pharmaceuticals Corporation. What is the minister saying about these On the 22nd of December, the minister tweeted that he is in India with the CEO of the NMRA. He said that no state funding was used for this venture and he funded his own travel whilst the NMRA was independently funded and as such added no burden to the state. This document claims that rooms at a five-star hotel in Chennai were reserved at a cost of 400 US dollars per night. It is Kaushik Pharmaceuticals that paid the bill. Is this not a bribe? The Medical and Civil Rights Professionals Association had addressed a letter to the President to intervene into this matter. They call on the President to conduct an investigation on the failure by authorities to inspect the quality of locally produced medicines before they are released to the market and the attempt being made to procure Indian medicines without the approval of the NMRA. It claims that the President and the Ministry were misled by the Minister. The Medical and Civil Rights Professionals Association called on the immediate intervention of the president to control this situation and urged to immediately remove the health minister and health secretary, paving the way for a new health administration.